Hi, this is Ron Chuckett from PopFlyBoys.com and BleacherReport.com. And today on So You Want to Be a Sports Writer, we're going to talk a little bit more about the situation that happened over the weekend in Kansas City with Javon Belcher mur murdering his girlfriend and then taking his own life and some of the reaction and fallout from that in the media and some good examples of what not to do. Um, first, as I said the other day, when you have a breaking story like that, especially when real life intercepts, you know, our entertainment life, it's important to try to keep your emotions in check. If you've had any journalistic experience whatsoever, you understand that, you know, once you know there's a story, you want to do your best to actually scope it out and do it. Cover the story the best that you can. For most of us, the best thing to do is just to sit and wait and wait for the story to go to, to reach its breaking conclusion and then you can get into the analysis portion of it. It's also very good not to get into situations where you might embarrass yourself by saying the wrong thing at the wrong time. Uh, the CBS Sports com correspondent who sat there and wrote about the fantasy impact of what it may be it was just not the right time and place to discuss that and that particular person got lambasted on Twitter for being seemingly insensitive when chances are it was just a case of you know how do we deal with this in your head look we're people we communicate we feel you know the people we cover are human they have feelings. It makes it very difficult at times when we deal, you know, specifically deal with the, the you know, the, the their professional parts of their job, when, which is fair game, as opposed to the personal parts of their life, which really is none of our business unless it becomes news. Um, you know, at this level of writing, we should just be concerned with you can be critical, obviously, but it should never get personal. And when you get into a situation, situation like we were this past Saturday, it's just best to lay out until you've had a chance to fully absorb in your head how you feel about a given situation and then react. If you write for a group of people or if you write like I do for, for Bleacher Report, you know, let them tell you what they want. Don't go to say, oh, I have a story of how this feels. Don't do that. Don't do that. Let them do it. In, their, in Bleach Report's case, from what, what friends were telling me, they were telling people not to write on it. And that makes a lot of sense because you're just going to say the wrong thing at the wrong time. Even after you've had a couple days to reflect, you can get into a case like Bob Costas did Sunday night at halftime of the Cowboys and Eagles game and make a, you know essay quoting Jason Whitlock on gun control. That was not the appropriate time or place to do that. Does the issue of domestic violence come up? Yes. Does it need to be addressed in professional sports? Yes. Does Costas need to be the one that does it? You know, he carries, you know, substantial, you know, what they call gravitas. And sure, he could probably pull that off. But that was not the right time or place to do that. You don't want to inflict your own politics or politics in general into that. That's what magazine pieces are for. If he had written an op op-ed for the Washington Post or the New York Times, I think that would have gone over much better. He'd have said it in the appropriate form with people who are looking for that stuff and not someone who was stuffed full of food and maybe had a couple too many beers at the end of a long day of football. You don't do that. You don't do that. So to sum up, when you find yourself in a situation where real life truly and cruelly intersects with the sports world, Unless you have first-hand experience in whatever the story is, not necessarily the case, you know, the specifics, but if you can relate firsthand how you would know about something like that, that's fine. But if not, just wait on it in a couple days until you've at least had at least one good night to sleep on it, and then you can get to your word processor and react however you would like after that. Once you've had the chance to have some of the raw emotion go through your head and for your body and mind to digest some of that, and then you can go through and put the five or 600 words together that you think are appropriate and how to handle a situation like that.
As always, you can read my stuff at BleachReport.com, and we'll be doing these. Apparently, these are now going to be a weekly video series at, at Pop Play Boys, and hope you listen into our podcast too. Thank you very much for watching.